Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the UATTEND software. Uh, I'll take you through the various steps inside the software and the first one is to log in. Now this is our administrator login. We have three types of uh, logins that we can get into the system with. I'm not going to save at that time. And so what we have here is the first thing to notice is uh, you notice this is today, uh, this is recorded uh, in February 2018 and there are continual updates to the software. When there are updates uh, you'll be notified in this manner and so we've just got a new screen there showing that the latest updates have been applied to the software. Uh, the first thing to note is the types of users which we just briefly discussed. There are administrators, there are supervisors and there are employees. Administrators have access to every setting or every um, piece of information in the database. We can then allow or deny various pieces of information to the supervisors. We can give them access to uh, approving time cards, editing time cards, as well as running reports. We can also limit those employees, or sorry, those supervisors, to certain employees, allowing them to only look at their own employees. Uh, the first thing we'll look at here is the settings tab. The settings tab is only open to the administrator and you can have more than one administrator if you really need one. Uh, there is an additional fee for extra administrators per month. The first setting we have here is the in the general tab is the uh, hour setting. Uh, so that's just saying whether you use 24 hour time or 12 hour time. So do you call 6 o'clock in the evening, 6 p.m or do you call that 1800 hours? Uh, the next one is whether you use minutes or decimals, and then if you use decimals, whether you take that down to 0 0.10 or 0.100 of a minute. With our pay period, we have various options for the pay period. You can pay staff weekly, monthly, semi-monthly, and bi-weekly, and in our case, we're set up on semi-monthly, and that's just saying that Sunday is the beginning of a new week, and we're paying from the 1st to the 16th. We could pay uh, once a month, once every two weeks if we so chose. Uh, the first thing that we saw when we logged in was the dashboard and our settings down the bottom here just tell us where in the dashboard uh, what we're going to be seeing. As far as the punch management which is the next screen this is just listing all of the clocks that are going to be in the database. Uh, the logo here is our CTS logo and so that's what's going to be on the clocks. You can also turn that off, put that to your own logo, um, have, you know, have your own company logo on the front of the clocks. Uh, with everything in the database here, the best way we find to explain it is that by default everything is turned off and what you're then doing is turning things on. So you're turning on each of the different clocks here, the finger reader, card reader or face reader terminals. You can also turn on um, computer access so that staff can enter clocking information at their computer uh, but then we can limit what IP address they can clock on from. So you might limit that to simply the IP address of the office and so they can't clock on from anywhere else. They can't clock on from home for example. Uh, the same with caller IDs. We have a 1800 phone number and that can then go through certain phone numbers can be registered to use that software. And we also have a cell phone app which you can download from iTunes or Google Play and that is also able to be fenced and so not only are you allowed to use that software but in this case you can only use it from certain addresses. Uh, the next screen here are the holidays. Right now uh, we've only chosen a few holidays uh, from a while back uh, but uh, we list what happens on a stat holiday and in this case, you're not pay, Sorry, you're getting paid 80 hours if you're not working. If you do work, then you're on overtime as soon as you walk in the door. In terms of the exports, uh, we have a number of different exports that are already exist within the software. And if we start at the bottom and work our way up, uh, you'll find that there's Sage and uh, Paychex, as well as the, this default is the CSV file but uh, Ceridian and ADP and all the major payroll companies are included in that list. Uh, we then match the file format of what we're calling them in your software with what we call them in this software and that way 
the regular hours will be uh, imported into the database and so will the overtime hours, etc. As far as the communications, this is whether or not we're communicating to the staff. In this case, the uh, required administrator approval is turned off, but approvals are turned on. They're approved by the supervisor. So when the time cards get reported, uh, we can click on time cards here. And so we've got a couple that are pending, and that just means that they have not been approved by their supervisor as yet. Uh, the employee services are something else we can turn on. We can approve uh, for time off requests. We can also have expenses and tips, uh, particularly if you're in the hospitality business. Uh, the time off requests will allow you to, or allow your staff to request things like, uh, you know, they say they want, want the next week before Christmas or something. Uh, they can apply for that and their supervisor can then approve or deny that. If they approve it, it then logs that in the time and attendance software so that when it comes to the week before Christmas, we're not expecting them to come to work. In terms of job costing, we can track jobs across the system. And so we can say not only that we're here from 7 o'clock until 3.30, but what we did while we were here. We worked in particular departments or on particular jobs, and then we can report on those accordingly. And the final thing that the supervisor, sorry, the administrator has access to are these shifts. If we look at one of them here, it's just saying that this shift is a shift that starts at 8, finishes at 4, and has particular assignments to it. So in this case, it's a fella called Mike and another one called Rob. And then if they don't work, or sorry, if they work outside of the parameters, uh, we're going to send an email perhaps to their supervisor. So we can say if they come in, let's say, more than half an hour before their scheduled start time, their supervisor might get an email. Uh, if they come in late by a certain amount, their supervisor gets an email. And so we can flag all those sorts of things. Now, right now, our U-Text uh, really only works in the United States phone systems, uh, so, but that is something that we're in the process of implementing for Canada. So all of that that we've seen so far is the administrator access to the database. Everything else is the supervisor can have access to as well. And so we will do that in our next video. If you'd like to uh, go to the next video, we will move you on from there. Thank you.